It's about time to make some music. I got a new toy by Quark, the Drumlock hybrid drum machine. And I just love whenever I get new gear to just explore it and while exploring it, just come up with ideas and try to make an entire song. So that's today's video, trying to start an idea and get it as far as possible. First, let's check out the drum machine really quick. Yes, it's a fingerprint magnet. But besides that, it really looks cool and sounds good. We got here bass drum, snare drum, and so forth. Over here, the control section for the samples. So decay, for example, for the kick drum. You can tune the toms, shorten and lengthen the hi-hats. The very top row is volume for each of the channels. Volume for the entire unit. Tempo over here. A lot of control section, record back and forth, live playing, or just the step sequencing. So I can choose the kick, go into steps, enter the steps, hit play. And we're already rolling. Good techno beat, 126 BPM. Let's maybe shorten the kick a little. Tune it. So let's select the snare drum. Or maybe just a clap. Just some two and four. Let's pick a hi hat. Off beat. Shape the sound a little more. nice and percussive just a simple old school drum beat there is a lot more to it there are like four engines analog there are uh, how many six digital ones and then you got um, samples you can load in there via USB effects delay reverb and the display shows you like where the pattern is at you can use it for life you can use it for the studio I think if you're into those old school, raw, techno, house drum elements, yes. If you want to get like clean, modern pop, it's probably not the device for you. And if you need those kind of sounds, the raw sounds for life, it's it's like perfect because you can just, just play. I love having a step sequencer. It's like, at least for me, like the perfect drum tool to generate drums because I'm coming from a producer background and not actually like from a drummer background. So that, that's how I love to program my drums. But yeah, anyway, so I'll record it. Um, you can actually on the back, let me show you the back. On the back, very simple, on and off, power in and out to the computer, MIDI keyboards in, then MIDI in and out, sync analog in, out. We got four separate channels, so you can have the sounds separately going to your DAW and record them and then uh, left and right and headphone. I'm being a little uh, lazy because actually not lazy. I, I don't have any ins and outs left anymore. I got a slight gear problem. I will uh, um, just mute all of the elements except for the kick, record it into the DAW and then the snare drum, like every element separate and try and build an entire song around it. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm I'm quite happy with the result. Like the, the the unit inspired me to make something techno raw, and I made something techno raw, even with like an acid sound in there, a bunch of analog gear, and we're just at 27 tracks. So it's a fairly fairly simple song track, and out of those 27, I think three or four are just like noises in the background atmospheres. Um, let me play you a tiny bit. It's watching you. Simple. Very simple. Nice bass line, kick, the vocal, and a little bit of acid. That's all you need for, for a good club track. Um, 
the kick I, I actually layered with another one. The original was like too raw and I personally like to have like a modern techno sound. So combining the rawness with cleanness. So um, just the kick that I'm using underneath. Very clean. And then uh, for example, the, the little drum element we got. Giving it a little groove in the intro of the song. And all that I have changed on this is the EQ, just getting rid of the low frequencies, sample delay to make it wide. We got Soothe. soothe. Um, I, I don't even know why I put it on there, but it made it sound a little bit better. Just lowering, it actually doesn't make any sense. Anyways, uh, Decapitator, quite a lot of crunch. And then just half of it mixed in, just to open it up a little. And then of course, uh, reverb, Valhalla, Vintage Verb, quite, quite a big reverb, because I just wanted to have in the intro like more something spacious in there. And yeah, that's basically it, maybe, maybe a little, snippet a little more i actually like the last drop which isn't really a drop it's like the outro i actually like the most because it's like full 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 and then just vocal cut to kick and bass <laughs> I love that kind of sound. It's simple, but it gets me every single time. Let me know how you like it. Let me know if you have any questions. If you want to go check out the Cork drum log, I'll link it down below in the description. And let me know in the comments if you think I should continue working on this song. I think I should. And where I should send it to. Which kind of label does this kind of music? It would be really interesting to know. If you want to go check out my music, I got a new techno project actually with uh, fresh releases just to transmission and violated also link down below in the description go there check it out on spotify or beatport whatever suits you see you again very soon right here in the studio <laughs>